Hello guys, I'm Vishali Kikan from Dopamine and we are discussing the VLSI technology. Today in this video, we are going to have the in-depth analysis of the Trek Stepper integrated system. We already have discussed the photolithography process in detail and today we are going to have the detailed understanding of this integrated system which is a fully automated system and used in the photolithography process. So let's start our discussion with the analysis of the track stepper system or the photo step. So what is a photo cell or what is this track stepper system as I told you it's a completely automated system. We put the wafer inside the system and we get the wafer with the photolithography process done on the wafer right so it's a integrated process system for the photoresist coating for the exposure and the development all of these three processes photoresist coating exposure and the development is happening in this system which is a track stepper system this is an integrated system thus we are calling it as a track stepper integrated system we have a center track robot in this which is controlling the movement of the wafer from one stepper to the another stepper right so we have a higher throughput over here and it will improve the process yield right so process yield is also improved we get a better throughput with the help of this system so you can see over here we have the movement of the wafer inside the different different locations now this is a stepper over here in the stepper we will be having the alignment and the exposure and before that we have various stations in this a track stepper integrated system so now first step is wafer in so you can see wafer is moved inside this system and after that we have various plates this is these the red plates are the hot plates and this is the white plate is the developer solution right and this is a track in the track we have a track robot which will uh, move the wafer from one point to another right so after moving in first process step is pre-bake and the primer coating for that the wafer is moved on a hot plate where the pre-baking the track robot is moving the wafer to the hot plate and here we will be having pre-baking and the primer coating on the wafer right so this is the first step after that the wafer is moved to the developer solution and then we will move it to the next station this is a spin station we will where we will be having a developer also so here the development will take place and after that we will be having soft bake after the development this is in the development step we are having the application of the photoresist on the wafer so after primer so first step was the application of the primer primer is an adhesive which will act like a glue which can put the which which can hold the photo resist over the wafer and in the second step we have the development uh, step where it's a we have a spin station we have a rotating spindle and over here we put the photo resist and photo resist is evenly distributed on the wafer and after that we move it to the soft bake step again soft bake is done with the help of a hot plate track robot will move the wafer to the soft bake plate so after that the wafer is moved to the stepper where alignment and exposure will happen after alignment and exposure we will be having the changes in the photoresist property at a particular location and then we will do the post exposure bake with the help of the hot plate so track robot will move the wafer from stepper to this plate hot plate for the post exposure bake after that the development process will happen again with the help of a rotating spindle we have a developer dispenser which will dispense a nozzle which will dispense the developer solution on the wafer and which will remove the photoresist which is softened out photoresist with the developer so developer will dissolve the photoresist into it and thus we have formed a pattern of the hardened photoresist only right so after that we have a hot plate which is used for the hard bake track robot will move the wafer from this to this step and we will have the hard bake and after hard bake wafer is moved out so you can see the photo cell is having various process steps so wafer is first moved to the preparation chamber after that we have so preparation chamber is a hot plate and after that we make it uh, cooled so the wafer is cooled with the help of a chill plate then we have a photoresist spin coater then again a hot plate then again a chill plate 
to make the photo to make the wafer coming back to the ambient temperature then to the stepper again to the hot plate for the post exposure bake and then again for to the chill plate and then to the developer solution for the development process then for the post exposure bake to the hot plate and again moving to the chill plate to come to the ambient temperature so you can see after every hot plate we have uh, in built cold plate chill plate also so a hot plate is accompanied with a chill plate also at every location so and the center track robot is moving this wafer so what is a stacked track system the stacked track system is a system which is having the stacked tracks so a track over the another track right so it will be having a smaller footprint it will be having lower cost of ownership also right so this is a stacked track system so the tracks are stacked over each other we have various hot plates chill plates which are stacked over each other this is the preparation chamber these are the spin coaters the developer developers which are also stacked over each other to reduce the area which is uh, occupied with this system now coming to the future trend we want the smaller feature size higher resolution we want the reduced wavelength and we want to use the phase shift mask as well so these are the references very amazing book which you can refer i hope you understood each one of the things that we have discussed if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i will try to resolve your doubt as soon as possible you can access the notes from our mobile app link is present in the description box below and you can meet me soon in the next class bye bye